Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of r slash entitled people. In today's episode, my child meets her first Karen. My BIL thinks the endangered species list should be removed. Neighbor tries to use toddler for getting access to my mother's house, it backfires. Before we get started make sure to subscribe so you will never miss a video. So let's get started. My child meets her first Karen. So this happened earlier today. My 13 yo daughter was sitting on our front porch in a rocking chair, enjoying the weather. She was wearing a pair of pajama pants and a crop tank top, with her knees drawn up to her chest. A woman drove by, then circled around. The woman proceeded to get out of her car, walk to my daughter sitting on the porch, and to yell at her that she was too exposed and needed to put on more clothes because her outfit was distracting the woman's son. My daughter told the woman that she was dressed and that what she was wearing was perfectly fine. The woman proceeded to yell at her over and over that she was too exposed and how dare her parents let her wear crop tops, she was controlled by the devil, etc., as my daughter walked into the house. This is where I love my kid. She got the plate and gave it to us. We filed a police report of harassment. Here's hoping the quick word from the cops will be the end of it. Smart girl. I hope the police follow up. If you guys ever see that car slash lady in your area again, have daughter sit on the chair in a bikini while you have 911 on the phone and record the woman. Or, get your biggest hairiest guy friend to pretend to be her just out of jail for murder uncle who's protective of his little niece. Oh my husband looks like an angry linebacker. Hoping she meets him. He's very scary when he feels his daughters are being threatened. Although I might just be even scarier. I would love to see a video of pranking the Karen with a fake murderous uncle. Sounds like comedy gold. Took me entirely too long to figure out why the kid was giving her parents dishes. Sigh. Who the hell does this? Good for your daughter. I've been reading advice columns for decades. This pops up occasionally asking neighbors to have their daughters stop swimming or sunbathing, etc. It's always, always put as the women's responsibility to change something to avoid stirring up lust. The advice columnist usually advises averting his gaze, building a higher fence, adding bedroom curtains, horse blinders, etc. If her son is distracted by an underage girl then it sounds like a him problem. So she saw her son was distracted and decided to stop the car and yell at the poor girl minding her own business, which might have given her son more opportunity to look at her. The opposite of what she wants. Her two brain cells are trying their best. It's more likely that she just made that up as an excuse to yell at an underdressed girl. OMG the ending of her getting the plates made me so excited. A total stranger stopped her car to harass your daughter, who was sitting on the porch, minding her own business. We can't even sit on the porch anymore. Jeez. My BIL thinks the endangered species list should be removed. Please inform me if this doesn't belong here, thank you. On our way to work today, we carpool to save gas, my BIL got upset that people on the left side of the road were swerving around a pair of geese. I told him that they were protected and he said they should just get rid of that list, they can just clone the stupid animals. I personally think this isn't right but I didn't want to argue so I kept my mouth shut. Not looking for advice just needed to rant. People seem to think ecosystem protection is pure sentimentality for cute animals and forget that we need healthy ecosystems for you know, eating and breathing and drinking and stuff. Those are usually the same people who deny climate change. My brother is one. He told me I was crazy for thinking the earth was going away. I had to explain to him that the planet would be fine, people just wouldn't survive. The earth can and will shake us all off like fleas and start over. It's a flawed argument because geese aren't endangered, they are federally protected waterfowl. Well he's an idiot. Also, we can't really clone things very much. 
Bill is an idiot regardless. I accidentally hit a bird once, looked like a blackbird. That creature destroyed my radiator. I was in a pickup truck. Your brother-in-law is expendable. If we really need him we could just raise a clone of him. Neighbor tries to use toddler for getting access to my mother's house, it backfires. At the time of writing I'm still seething with anger but hopefully sharing this with you lot can help out a bit. One way or the other I don't think she'll be to pull this one again. Backstory My mother is of age, let's say around 90, and has some issues coping. It didn't exactly help that my father unexpectedly passed away several years ago while she was just recovering from cancer and even though she got better the emotional and physical stress definitely had their effect. She can manage around the house, do the dishes, laundry, make her bed, but this is already taking its toll because she easily gets tired. Things outside the house just don't work anymore. So that's where I come in. For the past three or four years or so I go over to her place every week and spend a few days helping out with some chores, doing some grocery shopping and of course also to keep her some company. It's ironic because my GF and me have been dating for pretty much 12 years now yet we don't live together and instead go visit each other's place every weekend. Sure, I had times when I wanted more out of the relationship and my GF also had her doubts sometimes, yet now it's a blessing because I get to help my mom without it affecting my relationship. Oh the irony. Anyway. My parents used to have a good relationship with the neighbors but as you can imagine, that somewhat faded because my mother doesn't set foot out of the house unless she has to, for example her medical examination at the hospital, which is coming up again soon. Still, I do keep in touch with some of the neighbors and it always puts a smile on my face when the neighbors from number 3 often asks me, you got our number, right, and don't hesitate to call if you need a hand, you hear? All of this happened in the Netherlands, and obviously, the convos are translated. Nope, still shaking with anger so I guess the story needs to continue. A warm Wednesday. It's pretty hot in the Netherlands right now and that doesn't exactly do my mother any good. She often gets tired, has to cut chores in half and ya. So this week I figured I'd hop over on a Sunday, got full support from my GF, stayed the first days of the week, I got a bed there which I can use, and go home, so, well, today. This also allows me to cook for my mother which she really enjoys because that has become somewhat of a bother as well, something she can manage but it's getting difficult at times. Having done everything in and around the house already earlier this week, the only thing left for today was emptying and cleaning the chemical toilet, miniature septic tank, and emptying all the trash bins and take out the actual trash. Side note, if you have family who are of age and you want to prevent them from having to go up and down the stairs all the time during the night I can highly recommend a chemical toilet. It can easily last for a week and it can definitely prevent accidents or issues from having to go down and up the stairs again. Reason I mention this is because me and my GF also mentioned this to some of our closer friends and I just heard too many times, so obvious. Why didn't I think of that? Thing about my mother, she's somewhat punctual. She gets up at a specific hour, she'll have breakfast one hour later and she'll have lunch somewhat around slash past noon. She also prefers that I take out the trash around that same time so that she can keep an eye out on the front door, which I usually leave open because, easy. This will become important very soon because I am convinced that this is what led up to the following events. Just to reiterate, I've been doing this pretty much every week for the past three to four years now. Can I come over, please? This week was different. We started the day as usual, but then I got a PM from my GF who told me that she was with her parents right now, they live in a nearby city, and asked me if she could come over. She didn't feel like going home this week and wanted to tag along and head over to my place early. Obviously, I asked my mother who didn't mind at all, so sure thing. This was 15 minutes before I normally take the trash out, and I noticed a little kid playing in front and also somewhat inside the front yard of my mother's house, which doesn't have fences. This seemed odd to me because there's a playfield two to three houses over and all the kids go there, but I didn't give it much thought because I'm soon asked, it's that nice Asian girl who's coming over, right, which was obviously way more important to me. So, while waiting for my GF to arrive I decide to take on some other chores which my mother would otherwise have done. 
Because meh, gonna wait this out anyway and this heat isn't good for her so if she can relax a bit more this week, all the better. My phone bleeps with a PM from my GF telling me she's getting off the bus and my mother and I watched the GPS tracker which I projected on her, smart, TV. My GF and me always share our GPS locations when we meet up, it really helps with timing and preventing waiting 4 hours near a bus stop. When we see my GF's GPS blip enter our street I open the front door and step out, GF and me hug and I tell her that I only need to take out the trash and then we can go. We go inside and have some small talk. My mother and my GF can get along really well which makes me very happy. As it turns out my mother was reading a book which mentioned the tale of the 1000 origami cranes, and my mother was really curious if my GF knew about this. She did, and she was more than happy to share the tale. I pour the ladies some tea and while doing so look out the front window when I put the teapot back in its place and I see that same kid once again. This time not playing but just sitting there on the ground? Weird. But once again I don't give it much thought. But in hindsight you lot, OMG. Taking out the trash. Twice. While the ladies are talking I decide to empty all the bins into the main container, empty the vacuum cleaner, Dyson FTW, my mother can still vacuum thanks to that brand, mad respect, and out I am about to go when my mother mutters, Shell, now please don't leave the door open to which my GF quickly responds, don't worry Okas, I'll watch the door while he's out. If you must know, Okas is short for Okasasan, phonetic, which my GF always uses to address my mother. No, not gonna go into details, you figure it out. But I can say once again that my GF adores my mother. Things got really weird from here on. I go out with the trash bin. There's a storage unit down the street, you scan your card, the thing unlocks, you pull it open and put your stuff in and then close it. Easy. While I'm walking my GF is standing in the doorway, but a few steps backwards. Next thing I hear now, go go, from across the street but I don't give it much thought. I mean, there was a kid playing in the street for most of the times, it seemed, so, but when I disposed of the trash and walked back I see the same kid from before running across the street without looking, WTF, and he heads straight for, my mom's place? Sure enough, the kid runs full force into the open door but apparently without looking because they crashed right into my GF who saw it coming last second and just managed to take some kind of stance. The kid slammed into her legs and got knocked right back, my GF just managed to grab the kid before they hit their head on the concrete. Apparently, the kid was a girl because while I am stunned seeing this happen and now make my way back towards my mother's house some fat cow, sorry, I can't even call that a Karen anymore, jogs her fat ass over, ignores a car whose driver is now honking its horn while she flips him off and then pushes me out of the way as I'm about to enter my mother's front yard while she's screaming that my GF is sexually harassing her kid. My GF grabbed the kid's clothes near their chest area before they dropped? WTF? I'm immediately thinking that this hog is crazy. In fact, that's what I'm gonna call her. Me, you need to control your kid, who in their right mind runs into stranger's house? Hog, shut up you squatter, I know what you are up to, but it's not gonna work, she yells. Once again, WTF? GF, lady, you need to look after your kid. Hog, no, you need to get out of my way right now, before I'm calling the cops on you. I'm collecting evidence, and with that she air, it pulls up a phone and starts filming my GF, you two are squatting, Dutch, jelly kraken, this house and I'm gonna expose you, she says while she now also points her phone at me while she takes a step towards my GF, completely ignoring the kid who's now sitting in the doorway still crying and sobbing I might add. Context, this cow is huge, wide, and definitely has a weight advantage on my GF. She's also somewhat taller. However, my GF doesn't back down, quite the contrary. GF, get lost lady before this turns ugly. Hog, I have a right to be here, she yells and she makes an attempt to push my GF out of the way. And then we hear, what could bird hear Alamal, from inside the house. My mom got into the corridor behind my GF, now wondering what the heck is going on and she came looking. My GF's composure immediately changes, last warning. 
equals out, w-e-g here, l-a-a-t-s-t warshoing, she yells, but nope, the hog already storms over. I could immediately tell that this was a bad move, my gf was well aware of my mother behind her and she will definitely not allow her to come into any harm. The very moment the hog took one step over the drempel, how's in trance, my gf kicked the hog's shins full on, hard enough for the hog to halt. She now cries out in pain while grabbing her leg. It seems people who stand on one leg are less balanced than others, because my gf now delivers a huge shove and sure enough, with an audible bomb the cow falls over, flat on her butt and back. If you hadn't noticed from my writing, I couldn't care less about that, but even though I don't necessarily like kids and try to stay clear of them, my heart almost broke when I now hear and see the kid with mouth wide open and soon breaking out into more tears and sobbing. This was a shit show in the making. Period. My GF jumped over to the hog and started checking vital signs while also calling an ambulance. I'm trying to look after the kid and calm them down, not knowing what the heck I'm supposed to do. So. I tell them to relax, ask them if they're hurt from the collision with my GF earlier, they forcefully share their head, and I tell them that, I'm sorry, but you can't just come into a stranger's house and force your way in. Auntie was bad, right, they tell me, still sobbing. I nod my head and much to our surprise, no, much to our complete shock. The hog gets up, pushes my GF out of the way, what did you say you little brat, she yells and even slapped the kid, you're useless, which is when my GF completely lost it. Sorta. She pushes the hog away, shoves her out of my mom's yard, and plain out tells her that if she even dares to try and come back and she'll let her have it. During which she dials 112. That's the Dutch version of 911? As it turns out domestic problems aren't much of a concern in this city. They'll try to get an officer down there as soon as possible. GF, but how long will that be? 112, an officer will soon be there in about 90 or so minutes, 1.5 plus hours. That's gonna help. Not. So I asked the kid, who is still crying their eyes out, if they want to go back to their mom. Head shakes, and oh, I hate her, she's a bad auntie. I just reached my limit here and thus I now grab my phone, look up and find the phone number for child protection services, I think it's called in English? In Dutch, de kinderbescherming. I tell him everything. CPS, can you please repeat the address? Me, this is the address of my mother, I think they live down the street. Kid, number number. GF, looking over good job. CPS, that's a repeat address, how serious is it, and when I tell them the brief story, we're coming over right now. Me, de kinderbescherming kommt iran forward slash CPS is coming over right now. The hog squeals, makes one more attempt to push my GF out of the way who immediately shoves her back after which she just flings her arms and yells at the kid, this is all your fault you little brat, and then just storms off. Mom slash auntie of the year right there for sure. CPS did come, we all got inside which was very taxing on my mother who isn't accustomed to so many strangers, we quickly moved to the kitchen, and then back outside after the personal stuff was relayed, and the kid was taken by CPS. Something was not right here you guys, not at all. As soon as they understood that they didn't need to go back home anymore the kid ended up hugging my GF, well. Her legs saying thanks and how she saved them. CPS took him away. My concern now was with my mother. So we installed cameras. My mom never opens the door in the evening anyway and always looks out the window before doing so, but now we have some extra fail saves. Brief update. In the meantime, partly because of that, I decided to call the neighbors from number three. They weren't around during the happenings, but they do know their neighbor across the street, a bad egg so to speak. As it turns out the police actually make an appearance this evening and came over to talk to her, so they saw. At least it's something. So what was the hog's purpose anyway? Why did she want to forcibly go into your mother's house? I'm glad to hear that your mother and girlfriend went mostly unscratched, hope that hog backs off completely or, hopefully, just moves awa.
I first thought that Hog might have thought that Opie's mum is no longer alive and that Opie was there illegally. Maybe Hog wanted the house? Are there squatter laws like in Spain at the Netherlands? My first thought that the neighbor was going to mom's house when Opie isn't there and taking advantage of mom. Would be thinking about door chain. Either the woman is trying to rob an elderly lady by using distraction or she was projecting her own intentions when she called you squatters. Yeah mom needs a granny camera recording her doorways and a police report detailing and as a record of what happened. Stat. Major kudos for your kick-ass girlfriend. Yeah. Next time, tell them she tripped and you think she might be dead. Hey, not your fault if you're mistaken, right? This Karen was deaf after something. Sending the kid in so she'll have excuse to retrieve him and rob the mom? What a POS. You really need to be at your mom's house more often. The lardo across the street is up to something shady and she's got her eyes on your mom's house. I live in the United States and I can tell you this. She's not going to go away until she gets what she wants from your mom's. Cover your buttocks and file a report with every law agency and social service agency that you can. Get a home security system and you need to get your name on the house deed or mortgage so you can legally be there, talk to an attorney. Lardo is up to something shady. Can you file charges against the hog for trespassing, assault, and whatever else you can think of? A paper trail would be helpful. It's good that you installed cameras, but an alarm system would be a good idea. What was her intention anyway? Was she trying to rob your mom or take possession of the house? If you made it to the end of the video, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share and we will see you in the next video.